All right. Oh, we can change the name of it. Oh, Brenda. Yes. Brenda is a thing. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here. Hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing some Subnautica peeps. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. My map is saved. Nothing got exploded. There was a big update when I came in today. And when I tried to load the map, it was like, Murro, your map is out of date. If you load this map, you can convert it. But if you convert it, everything might explode. And so I was like, all right, let's do it. And hopefully everything doesn't explode. And it didn't. So basically what it said for real. Oh, by the way, thank you guys for coming to hang out with me. Thank you for the support of the Subnautica videos. Make sure if you like the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and show your support. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and any hoozle. So what the update said was the map was out of date and there were going to be regional updates and um, like updates to the ground, to the to the map. And if you're in an area that was updated, your everything you have will be destroyed. So that did not happen, which is super, super cool. So we're here today. We're going to get some more building done. I'm excited to do some new stuff and things. I think we're going to get a moon pool built today. I think we're going to get maybe the also uh, maybe the also large aquarium and uh, start playing around with that too. So um, when I did log in, I noticed that there were some changes to some stuff and things. I found this, which I'm pretty sure was in the game before, but I just never maybe noticed it. And so we can turn exterior lighting on. Can you see how that, the, the you kind of can't see it because it's daytime. But uh, right there, you can kind of see there's a little bit of light bouncing off of there. And if we click on this again, you can see that it's not there. So there's a huge amount of exterior lighting. And then this thing, oh, so cool, man. You can turn the lights off in the Seamoth. And it's kind of weird because the light rays from above still kind of penetrate. But that's okay because it's just the thing is happening. So anyway, that's pretty cool. And I think you save, I'm going to guess, I don't know if that takes power. It gives you a power drain or not. But um, another cool thing that's going on with the Seamoth, now when you go to pilot it, over here there's this thing that looks like a camera. And then it takes you to this like external camera. In the lower right-hand corner, you can kind of see where you're facing based on the, the position of your Cyclops. And uh, so you can kind of look around underneath you. It's pretty cool, right? I think it's neat. And then you hit, um, I think it's what? Oh, oh, we have multiple cameras? Oh, there's a top camera. What the crap? Is this like a radar thing, doodler? There's a top camera too. And you can use mouse wheel. Oh, what? This is even another camera. It's a rear camera deal from the back. Okay, so mid bottom camera, top camera, rear camera. That's kind of neat, man. And then you hit escape to get out of there. So um, that's pretty cool. Now we want to get out of here too. Uh, uh, I can't get out. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got it. So, um, all right. Like I was saying, today we're going to get to doing some building, moon pool action and stuff like that. Where's that little spinny thing? I never noticed there was a little, like, array of stuff and things, little buddies. It's like the SS, SS Brian is alive. It's like, scanning area, learning. Everything is amazing. Underwater. All right. So, uh, let's take a look down over inside of here and see what we can do. I just loaded up our thermal plant with some more creep vines and a fungal sample. So we're getting some power jenny over here. They updated a few other things too, and we're gonna get to all that stuff. Do not you worry. So um, first things thirst, first, thirsty? Mm-hmm. I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and deconstruct this. And then we're gonna reconstruct it over into this early type area here. So we wanna put this reinforcement right up in this area. Now let's see what we're getting here. Okay, total now seven. Sweet! So the next order of business is the moon pool, which I have gone ahead and made all the things we need for it. So four titanium ingots, four lubrican, and an advanced wiring kit. And then also I wanted to build a glass corridor. So um, we needed to get some stuff and things for that. Just two glass, not too tough. So let's pop out here. What I'm thinking for our moon pool is right off the edge of this. So we can build a little guy like so. And then Oh wait, is that gonna be like inside our guy? No, it's not. SS Brian is safe. Hopefully it connects. I'm hoping it connects. It would be weird if it did not connect. Are you going to connect? It connected! We did it! Now the nice game stop! Now it used to be a thing, and it looks like it still is, that this stupid if you don't build the moon pool on the ground, 
10 seconds of then remaining. the legs still deploy. I don't know why that is. It's a glitch that's been in the game for a long, long time. So now we have our moon pool. This thing is really cool. Basically, um, it's for our sea moth. So let's go ahead and head out. I can't believe these legs still stick out when you build it above ground. Um, that was like in the last season that we did, season two. Thanks, Brian. It was like a huge, huge issue because the legs would go like in all different weird directions. It was really wacky. So um, yeah, but six or a half dozen, it's still pretty cool. So now what we can do is take our sea moth and we should be able to go ahead and dock in here. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Now, I'm assuming, yeah, it looks like it did charge a little bit, take a little bit of power. No, 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 that's not what we wanted to do. Nope, this isn't what we wanted to do at all. Nope, that's bad. Nope, that's not what we wanted to do. Come back. Seriously? Okay, let's go way down. Then we'll go way up. Suck me in. Thank you. So, um, I was going to show you the external upgrades bay, but it looks like that it was, it only gives me enter Seamoth. I guess I must not be able to play with this unless we're, oh, there it is. I'll co so we can access it. Can we close it? For some reason, we can't close it. So um, we will be able to build upgrades and go ahead and um, upgrade the Seamoth to do all sorts of different stuff and things. So it's going to be cool. You know, the other thing we got to build too is the Seamoth upgrade terminal. Build this in the moon pool to upgrade the Seamoth. We got to get into doing this too. We need glass and two computer chips. So that could be a thing. You know what? I was thinking about getting into the aquarium today. I don't know. I think we should do this first. So let's go ahead and we don't need to take our sea moth. We can just come right over to the SS Brian here. It said that it needed glass, right? So we can go ahead and just grab two of these guys and we got that. Let's go ahead over here and start constructing our glass. And then it was dual computer chips? The computer chips in French? Or ni computer chips in Japanese? Or um, some other languages? I don't know. All right. So what was it again? Two computer chips. Bomb inside of here. Advanced stuff and things. Computer chips are table coral samples. We need four of those, two silver and two quartz. Okay, so two quartz we've got, bam, bam. Two silver we've got, bam, bam. Two table coral samples. Common coral, one, two, three, four. Nailed the days, the game stopped. We're gonna be able to build it right away. All right, sweet. So computer chip. Computer chip. Uh, Wait, is that it? We have all the things now? Oh yeah, that's it, we did it. All right, sweet, amazing. So we're going here now. Now, if I remember correctly, some of these upgrades are kind of expensive. So let's take a look at this bad boy. Now I think it should, oh, right there. That's a weird spot for it. It feels like it's facing kind of backwards there. That doesn't make much sense at all. I think that what we're supposed to do is fall in. I don't think this is where it goes. Let's just build it and see what this looks like because it feels like this is not correct. Sea moth docked, nothing docked. Okay, so you can kind of come over here like this and get it done. Um, let's go ahead and deconstruct it. I just wanted to see if it would construct. I don't like that spot. I want to find a better spot. Is there, can we, can we stick it right here? Because this would be ideal, like right at this angle. Oh, we can put it. Right there. Oh, this will be great. All right, perfect. I think. Is it going to be centered? Because if it's not, I'm going to have a big problem. Oh, sweet. Exactly what we wanted. All right. Oh, we can change the name of it. Oh, Brenda. Yes. Brenda is a thing. Does it say Brenda on the side now? Hi, Brenda. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. And now use the fabricator. Now this is... Oh, we haven't found any... Oh, we have found the modules. Some of them. Seamoth pressure compensator. Seamoth power efficiency module. Recycles heat byproduct to minimize power and efficiencies. Solar charger? Okay, it looks like some of these... Oh, I don't have the stuff for it. Storage module. So that gives us the ability to put, store things on the Seamoth. Perimeter defense system. This thing's cool. That charges the outside of the Seamoth with electrical field and, like, shocks the guys around you. The torpedo system. We need magnetite, which is not super easy to find. There's a sonar thing, which is really cool. I think we'll end up putting it in. And hull reinforcement. Preemptively hardens the chassis before collision, eliminating damage under normal conditions. So then also, vortex torpedoes. Oh, so this is like when you build the torpedo system, you have to build the, tor the vortex torpedoes separately in order to do it. So I think what we might do next 
is start playing around with the... I don't know. I really wish you could color everything in the game. Like, I'm, I'm one of those kind of people where if I color my Seamoth and I color my Cyclops, I want my base to be colored too. Oh, we got a bad ombre. No, it's not a bad ombre. There's a reef back. There he is. What's up, man? Hey, Frank, the reef back. So um, I want my colors to all be the same. And since we can't color the base, I kind of don't like to color the other stuff either. So I don't know. Maybe we will. At least we got the name. That's like the most important part, man. Brenda's a thing. That's so cool. Um, all right. Well, you know what? We're blowing through the content. Then this isn't really the new stuff. Um, I think there's like a new biome. There's a new map room. Oh, here's our little hallway. This is pretty rad. You know, we can add a couple bulkheads in there to go ahead and make stuff and things a little bit better. Yeah, we could add a bulkhead right here, maybe. Okay, just have a big fit about it then. So, um, I guess we don't have the stuff. I thought that we did. No, we need silicone rubber, two of those. So, a couple bulkheads might not be bad to increase the durability of the stuff and things. So, all right, you come in here. This is like our main area, our entrance, right? It's pretty rad. I think we're going to end up putting in some... Oh, let's put a desk. Like a desk right here? And then a bench, maybe? A little desk. Is there... Is the bench... Where is the bench? A little bench next to our desk. Can you go green? You were green like there a second ago. Look at this! Can we... Can you sit on it? Yeah. Okay, wrong way, but that's fine. I mean, I guess we didn't want to sit at our desk anyway. So this is our little desk where we learn all the things about the universe and underwater stuff. We're like, oh, wow, did you know? No, I didn't. Oh, my God. That was amazing. We learned it. So, all right, let's go ahead and stop learning. That's learning is, <laughs> I mean, stay in school. Um, so we need four glass to go ahead and build this aquarium. I think that's going to be the next order of business. So let's pop over here. I'm psyched we got our moon pool up and running, man. That's really rad. I feel like at night it's super dark over here, though. We need to get some lighting going. All right, let's come back up inside. And then we're going to need... How much for the moon pool? Was it four glass? So that means we need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these guys. So this is going to allow us, I think, because I've never played with this before, but I think we can start hatching our creature eggs inside of here. So I'm excited to see what this is going to be all about. There's three. And there's four. Oh, yeah, a little low on water, but that ain't no big deal because we've got some right in here. Delish. So let's grab a couple of creature eggs here. Let's grab this guy. Let's grab two of these guys and see how this works with these guys. All right. Under cover of darkness. We could just come into the moon pool. It's so easy. Let's come over here. I know we didn't build any more uh, any bulkheads, but whatever. So does this thing not snap? Oh, I'm a little confused. I thought this snapped into the center of a multi-purpose room. Is that not the case, or is it because the bulkhead was there? Weird! What? This doesn't go in here? Hold on a second. Multi-purpose room. Aquarium provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna. Add a hatch to enter. Is this only outside? No, it's got to be built inside of here, right? That's weird. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm so confused. I thought these built right in the center of these. All right, let's go outside. Maybe that's where we can do it. We can enter it, which is odd as well. This thing is not really snap worthy. Snap worthy? Yeah, it doesn't want to build anywhere. Hmm, I may need to build a doubly high multi-purpose room or something like that. Thank you, sea base lady. Hmm. I'm really a little bit confused as to how that works. Well, I got to tell you what, guys. To so start off the episode today, we got the moon pool up and running. We got the Seamoth upgrade station. Brenda Doc, that's so cool. Um, we can go ahead and start working on some of these upgrades as well. I'm thinking that I want... I don't know. I'm thinking pressure compensator is probably pretty important. Um, so we can go a little bit deeper. And then we, I think we can add two of these. Power efficiency module would probably be... Eh, I don't know if we need it. Maybe. Solar charger, no. Storage upgrade, no. Perimeter defense is probably not a bad idea. The torpedoes, we've got to build to play with them. 
The sonar is super fun. So I'm thinking like two pressure compensators, a sonar, and maybe hull reinforcement. Um, but for now, Z's, I'm going to do a little bit of, I'm going to look up and see what's going on with the large aquarium and find out why we can't build it. I think that's really weird. I thought it would snap right inside of here, but it isn't. So I'm going to figure out what's going on with that, and I will BRBs, peeps. And we're back after much research, reading, and uh, experimentation. I think the problem that I had was because of an update, maybe this update, I'm not sure if this is exactly it, I had to rebuild the room. So now, check this out. This is kind of wacky. See how like the, the red model of this looks? Watch when I walk in here. All of a sudden, like whenever it, that goes to place, the model like all changes. But then in this room, I can place it no problem. Like it's super easy. Now over in this room, see, I get no snap point. So I think that's what was going on there. So I think we're going to go ahead and we're just going to build it in here. And I wanted to build it with you guys. And, oh yeah, the the days the KB stopped. Our aquarium is amazing. All right, so we're supposed to have to build a hatch. Now, I'm guessing it's just a regular hatch in order to get into this thing. I didn't even think about that uh, beforehand. Let's go ahead and head over here and get a hatch going. What do we need for this? Two titanium and one glass. Should be pretty easy. So let's pop back over onto Brian. And uh, we will eventually... Thank you, Brian. Good to know. We'll eventually go ahead and start to um, get stuff over at the base so we don't have to come back here to do any of this stuff. We'll get a fabricator and all that stuff going. Um, so we'll be good to go there. But all right, for now, Z's, let's see how this hatch works. Hopefully, this isn't an issue. I'm assuming it's the regular hatch. I feel like it's weird because that hatch is so big. Like, I can't imagine that that's, this is the hatch we need. Is this it? Oh, it is, but it like smallerizes it. It's a smallerized hatch. Let's go ahead and, yes, yeah, that official real term. I mean, I'm no hatchologist, but this is probably what I think it is. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Hull force, hull's negative one. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Uh, Lithium titanium. Okay. Or bulkheads, bulkheads. Let's build bulkheads. Silicon, oh, we lost. Oh, it's a terrible thing. Terrible things happening. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Come here. I think I have some silicone rubber, right? Right, 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 right. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then two titanium per. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Hopefully it's not a big issue already. Everybody calm down. No. Oh, 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 no, no. Okay. Oh, we did it. Let's just get this guy opened up. Oh, no. Do we have our welder? I hope so. Okay, now at three. Let's get this guy opened up. Is it me or is not the whole base flooding? Oh, because the bulkhead closed. Does it close on its own all the time? Okay, okay. Big problem. Weld it. Weld it. Weld this freaking thing. Don't stop looking at it. Just weld. What is up with you, welder? Okay, okay, good. Okay, we got that. Oh, there's so many more. No, no. Okay, we got that one. We got that one. Our aquarium is an aquarium. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, we got that one. Are we good? Are you pumping out the water, yo? No. All right, one more. Thank you. Draining systems initiated. Thank you, Sea Base Lady. We got to think of a name for you. Probably Linda. All right. So our bulkheads have allowed us to keep the hull integrity stuff and things going. Now we can come back over and play with our aquarium, even though it's going to be a little bit wishy-washy inside of here. So if we go like this, we are in the aquarium. Use planter. What the crap? We can plant. I guess we could put plants in there? For real and for true? Now, is this what we do? We just put these down inside of here? I don't know. Is this a thing? We're just learning. I'm assuming this is how it works. We can get plants in here too, which I, I don't even know what that's all about. Aquarium plants. I should have done some more research. It's fine. All right, so um, 
I feel like we need some plants in our aquarium. We, we're not just gonna be able to just do anything. You know what, maybe if we just grab some coral samples or something like that, maybe that would look cool. Or some creep vine pieces. And uh, let's see what's going on with these eggs. I'm interested to see if they hatch on their own or what the deal is. And we're back. Just doing a little bit of research on the aquarium, learning some stuff and things, peeps. I'm kind of excited to show you some of these these different things that we can do. I'm, I'm excited to see if this is even gonna work. Accept me, Moonpool. Brenda docked. Look at that. That's so neat. All right. So Brenda's docked. We're doing great. Oh, weird. Our power says that it's maxed out at 250 before it said 350. Bioreactor 100 out of 100. Whoa, whoa. Two of our solar panels disappeared. Okay. So that's the thing that happened. Maybe because I deconstructed the room? Somehow that erased those solar panels. We can go ahead and fix that in a minute, but let's talk about the aquarium. All right, so over here, we've got our aquarium. We've been playing around with it a little bit. Oh, you can see our sea things are growing. Okay, so I put, oh crap, you know what I was gonna do too? I'm gonna go grab some more eggs. So um, I started playing around with it and put some stuff and things in it. I did a little bit of reading up about how it works. It's supposedly, supposedly, we're supposed to be able to um, well, you know what? We won't. We're not going to get more eggs because I want to kind of do some experimentation here. Um, well, yeah, 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 it's not really a good way to do this. Um, I want to see like what if if what I put in the tank um, it breeds because it's kind of supposed to be able to breed. So I put in two acid mushrooms and you can see right here. There, the, there those are. So they're right inside of here. And then I put in three creep vines. Now, once they're in, it doesn't seem like you can pull them out at all. There's not a way to pull them out. Now, if you look at this, it also says that there's like growth. So we can probably get like creep vine samples from this. Now, as far as the acid, mu acid mushrooms go, if we grab that, well, that doesn't make much sense. So we can just grab the acid mushrooms and just put them right back in, I guess. So maybe if we leave them in there for a long time, you know what? I didn't even look to see if they were saying that they were growing. Get out of there. No, it doesn't say that they're growing. So maybe we can't make additional acid mushrooms, but I'm assuming with the creep vine, once it grows, we'll be able to harvest it. And if we can get more than one piece, then that is, makes sense. You know what I mean? It's growing. So some other stuff of things that happened were I put two of the small creature eggs in and one of the large ones and one of the small creature eggs like disappeared. So I, I don't know where it went. I don't know if it's like inside of this, like if it rolled in and, and there's like no clipping or something like that. But then this large creature egg, this is new. Ten seconds of well, you can kind of see from out here, it's starting to pulse a little bit. And it looks like there's like a thing in there. Um, now it takes two to three in-game days for these eggs to grow and hatch. And after one day, they'll start to like pulsate and move around a little bit. So that's kind of what that's doing. So we might, probably won't see that happen today, but at some point it's gonna happen. So the other thing is I grabbed a bunch of guys. So we grabbed a couple peepers couple bladder fish and a couple spade fish. So these guys are going to live in our aquarium now. Now I hear tell the story around the campfire is that if you leave two of a species inside the aquarium, that it they will grow, um, they will mate. They will do the naughty and they will mate and make a baby. Now that's like free food. Now it's not a lot of food because if it takes like a day, for them to mate, like that's kind of silly. And I'm not sure if this thing has like a maximum amount of creatures that it can fit in it. But I do have to say, this is pretty cool, man. It's cool to have this aquarium. And I'm thinking um, that I might be able to make it bigger by building another room on top. I'm not really sure how that works, but I'm excited about it. So there's the aquarium. It's looking awesome. Over here, we got our moon pool. There's all sorts of new upgrades and other stuff and things that we're going to end up checking out. But for today, peeps, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget, show your support, peeps. Smash that thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. Oh, did it just jump around? It did. Jump around. All right, man, the stuff and things be with you.